how do I even start the video? I don't know. <laughs> Intros are not my strong side. <laughs> but I'm gonna do I'm gonna do the Asylum challenge. I wanted to do the uh -huh. challenge for a couple of years actually, but I wanted to do it in a video. So yeah, I'm getting to it now because I'm on a winter break and that means I'm <laughs> I have the apartment for myself. And that's the only time I'm able to record videos like this. So I'll probably just keep pre-recording everything for this week. So for me, it will just be like five minutes between every video. But for you, I don't know. Will I even post this? I don't know. <laughs> the thing with the Aslan challenge is that uh, we are only controlling one sim. And this Adrian right here is our main sim um, and we are gonna do some challenges or we're gonna complete aspirations uh, while we have a full household and we cannot control anyone in our household and and yeah that's basically it <laughs> the thing is that there are some rules the rules are yeah, we can't, we can't control them, we can't even check their moods and stuff like that. And uh, there is like three different difficulties, but I consider myself a hardcore simmer, so I'm gonna choose hard. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm hoping there's gonna be some challenge to it, if not, I'm gonna be very disappointed. Um, and basically we just have to keep them all alive without controlling <laughs> any one of them. So this challenge has a backstory, and the story goes like this. You have been committed to a rundown mental health facility against your will. In order to prove that you are fit to rejoin society and earn your freedom, you must achieve the goals your psychiatrist has set for you, your aspiration. The catch, you need to achieve your goals as quickly as possible while keeping seven other patients who you do not know and are out of con out of your control alive and as happy as possible. Um, the rules for Kaz is that uh, we have to be a young adult. All the sims have to be young adult. Um, you can choose whatever you want for looks, clothing, voice, and walk, walk styles. They must have the erratic trait and the other two traits can be anything except for modded traits. So. We have the erratic trait, loner trait, and loves outdoors. And I actually randomized these traits. And yeah, I changed out one trait with the erratic because we had to have that. And based on these traits, I chose the freelance botanist aspiration. I'm not sure if that's going to be easy or hard to achieve. Uh, I'm hoping for some challenge in this let's play, so <laughs> yeah. So the main part of this challenge is that we have to complete it with a full household of people that we cannot control. So um, what I did was that I chose the people that we all know and love from <laughs> our world. So with us, with Adrian here, we got Bella Goth, uh, which we all <laughs> know and love so much. And we got a mermaid, we got Melani. Uh, I'm not gonna say her last name because I'm, I don't know how. <laughs> and we got Penny Pizzazz, our social media guru. And we got the vampire Caleb. We got the spellcaster Morgan. And the celebrity Thorne Bailey. And all, uh, and for last, we got Don Lothario. <laughs> So this is one amazing combination, I think. Oh, I had so much fun setting up all of these games. And yeah, everyone has to have the erratic trait. So I gave them all the erratic trait. And with that, I would say that we are ready to jump into the game. I've been so excited since I realized, or since I started planning to do this this week. Um because I wanted to do this cha uh, challenge for so long. Uh, yeah, so I'm just really excited. 
And when I was preparing the save this weekend, I just wanted to start playing right away. But I couldn't because I wanted to save it for the video. But I haven't really done much yet. Or I have done some few things. I've made everyone quit their job because that's one of the rules. We are not allowed to have a job. Any of these people. Uh, it's only our main sim that's allowed to have a job if our aspiration tells us to have a job. Oh my god, stop lagging. <laughs> stop lagging. Okay, I think we're good. Are we good? Maybe. Yeah. Um, and yeah, there's a couple of other rules too. Uh, like, we can only have four beds. Uh, we can only have four seats. So, we got this love seat here and two chairs. And we can only have four skill... Like... Uh, no, three skill building <laughs> items. We can have, we have this pool right here, and we have, uh, we have the handiness table thingy, woodworking table, and we have what's the, what's the third skill building item? What's the third skill building item? I forgot about it. Wait, we had one more, had didn't we? Yeah, yeah, the the easel we have, so we can earn some money, and we can only have either one TV or one computer. So I chose the TV because we don't really have to have the computer, and also a TV can get everyone's fun up. But the first thing we are gonna do is that we are gonna go to our phone, and we are gonna purchase seeds because I think we can purchase from our phone order um can we purchase seeds seasonal seeds purchase seeds because uh, we uh, have to plant stuff for our aspiration I think we have to plant and water things um flowers and fruits veggies and herbs starter fruit i'll just oh yeah and also we have <laughs> that one of the rules is that we could only start with 100 simoleons so i can't really buy that much uh i cannot buy that because that's too expensive okay uh starter fruit starter vegetables starter vegetables okay um mm. And we are allowed to check the other sims inventory every night at 12 o'clock just to check if they have anything in their inventory that we um, that we could just I don't know if they have picked up a guitar for example or something like that actually we got a lot of vegetables here which is very good because <laughs> gardening can actually make us a lot of money and we need the money right now um and can you go down here and plant all of it? don't eat them we need them uh i downloaded this build from the gallery it's called i think it's called wolfgang asylum or something uh i don't i could check but <laughs> i don't know how long it's gonna take to get me into build mode it's so slow sometimes because i have custom content uh i have deleted a lot of custom content though uh, but it's still slow. Everyone is just in the pool. That's so fun. Oh my god. Wait, where's the mermaid? She's not in the pool. Okay. I was like, wait, don't we have a mermaid? But yeah, she was not in the pool. Just everyone is building all these skills. So nice though. Keep building skills. It's nice. And stay happy. We don't want anyone to die. Oh, I was about to check Penny's mood. Why she's uh, dazed. But I can't. And also, there's not allowed to have mods that can affect the gameplay or moods or skill gain or anything like that. And I think, I don't think I have, but I'm not sure. So I'm just keeping it as I do, like, the mods that I have. 
Because I don't think that I have anything that affects my gameplay. And also, uh, I, I'm trying my best to follow the rules as best as I can. Oh, it's already grew. <laughs> Did you see that? Look at her. She's so pretty. I wish there was more to the mermaids in this game. They were like so underwhelming. They could have done so much with them, but they just didn't. And it's just such a disappointment. So, who are you? Marcus Flex? Why is Marcus Flex here? Beca Stan? Because he's... Oh, he's a fan of Thorn. Oh my god, is that gonna be a problem? Are we gonna get all these people on our lot because they're a <laughs> fan of Thorn? <laughs> oh god. So, are you done? Yes. Okay. So, but it's raining. We have to water this plant. Water or weed. Okay, so that's probably gonna take a couple of days. Mm, but I want you to work on some skills. Uh, also, you can cook. You should cook for everyone because they're probably gonna start fires. So I would like you to serve lunch. Something that you can't start a fire with. Just serve garden salad. I wonder what's gonna happen to Caleb. Is he gonna start eating people? That's gonna be so fun. <laughs> oh my god, because he's a vampire and can't have food. Is he go really gonna start eating people? What if he kills them? I have a mod that can make vampires kill people. <laughs> that would be something. He would just ruin my challenge. Because there's this uh, point. You can, like, uh, when you're done with the challenge, you count points to, like, how well you did. And I think that uh, having a dead sims is just a massive, like, no. <laughs> you should <laughs> just keep your sims alive. Caleb, please don't kill my patients. We're all in this together. We're gonna survive. And also, I can't... Um, because I'm playing on hard, I can only leave the lot. Uh, I think it's between 12 a.m. and 5 a.m. Uh, and by leaving the lot, I think that means awful reputation. Thorn, what did you do? <laughs> Bella is just stepping right over him. I wonder if any of them is gonna romance each other. I hope we get some drama in there. But yeah, by leaving the lot, I think that means we can't just we can't go outside of this lot. So that if we're gonna go out to scavenge and stuff like that, we have to do it in the night. And we can only leave or travel to another lot if... Uh oh no, my camera is running out. I thought I had so much time. Okay, yeah, my camera is about to run out of a battery, so I <laughs> might have to end this pretty soon. We'll see. Um, yeah, we can only travel to another lot if our aspiration says that we have to do it. Uh, oh, we gained a fitting skill. That's nice. Um, but I think I don't think we have to leave the lot for this aspiration. So we're gonna stay here all the time, which, yeah, that's how I play anyway. I'm only staying at my lot, so, yeah, fine. Okay, so we made the salad. Uh, can I put it here? There's probably gonna be so many fires, and I'm... Oh. <laughs> oh, all the mess that these people are gonna make. Can you make some more garden salad? Just so that they have things to eat, so they don't start fires i'm so glad that we don't have a grill because sims always grill non-stop oh no i can't check i can't check him i can't check oh i'm just so used to it well i didn't click anything i just saw that octavia his wife called she's probably wondering where he is well he got sent off to this mental health facility it's not returning for years <laughs> octavia just just forget him <laughs> all of the these their families well yeah yeah i just kidnapped them <laughs> basically oh, 
level 2 cooking skill, that's nice. Okay, so I'll just put this in here. Uh, maybe we should call them to meal. Call to meal. So that they have all eaten and something. Are they also gonna come eat? Yeah, I think so. I could give you a house tour, but <laughs> this house it isn't really that big. And, well, I can do this. This is the house. Uh, there's an empty room. Because I think this house was built for the medium difficulty, where you can have six beds. Because this lot had six beds. And also six seatings. Uh, places to sit uh, but we can have that so I had to oh what oh, someone got a negative sentiment oh I think someone is angry with each other it was Bella right was it done oh I love the sentiments oh this is gonna be so much fun oh this is amazing I love it well yeah so this is the living room and kitchen yeah nothing much to see this building is so weird with these windows and just yeah but well it's a facility i guess nothing much the rooms nothing much and downstairs is just like a skill building area i think i was about to say that we could just put some couches to fill in the room but we can't we can't have more couches that's against the rules. Uh, what are we doing? Are we reading? No, don't read. Work on skills. Work on handiness skill. Craft. Craft a knife block. Oh yeah, but we have to watch our money. <gasps> we can't. We can't make any more food for them. Oh my god! <laughs> I was just gonna play through the night. Why? Because <laughs> I didn't think anything special was gonna happen but actually this is quite <laughs> eventful penny started the first fire i just had to get this ah are you kidding me we don't have money to replace the stove oh this is so annoying and also nolani here she was sleeping in the pool so she almost froze to death well it wasn't really that serious but she got cold, you see, she got blue skin. So, my sim was sleeping. So, that was why I thought this would be okay. Because, <laughs> because she was just sleeping. I couldn't really control anyone anyway. So, yeah, I had to wake her up. Just to go down to the pool to wake her up. Because she was sleeping in the pool. And then I had to just tell her to get out of the pool. <laughs> so, I fixed it. Um, with no cheating, obviously. How do we have only 14 simoleons? Did it... Did the meal cost that much? Seriously. We can't even finish it. Why didn't we... Aren't we supposed to get money back? So that we can replace it. No! Our stuff! Oh, this is so annoying. You can't. Ah, I can't even finish it. Yeah. And also, she finished her knife block on the woodworking table. But yeah, look at this. It's broken. It's poor quality. We can sell it for five simoleons, but they're only going to use it to cook food and burn things down anyway. So I'm not going to sell it yet. So, yeah, I'll I'll be back when I have my camera back on because... Yeah, it ran out of batteries. I have to charge it. <laughs> I'm waiting for that. 